In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Read and Write. So I want to make a quick video showing people how to open up Read and Write and get started. Okay, so I went into Google Document. You can use another program, but this is a safe one to do it. So I'm recommending go to a Google Document, open it up, and then your extensions are listed up here. Now you don't see Read and Write. Sometimes you'll see a purple puzzle piece. If that's the case, click on it. So I'll click over here where this little uh, blank puzzle piece is, and I click on it, and you see it says Read and Write, and it's a little purple puzzle piece. I'm going to want to pin it so that it shows up on the top part here so I can find it quicker the next time. But, but once I see it, I click on it, and then see the toolbar opened up right away. See how everything on it is black? It's black, obviously the background is, but all these items, icons are black. This means that I have the full version of Read and Write. Now, if most of it was grayed out, it would mean that I had the free version of Read and Write. So if you see Read and Write, it looks like this. You have the paid version, you have the full license. If you don't, you have the free version. And if you think you're supposed to have the license, there's a problem with the license, and obviously to, to look into that. Uh, now, if I go back here, they have manage extensions. The other thing you can do is go and click on that and then see if the extension is turned off or if it's listed here. Okay, so here's read and write right over here. Read and write for Chrome. See it's turned on and it's listed as one of the extensions I had. So if nothing showed up at all, you would go under manage extensions and it would take you to this screen and you'd look to see if you could find read and write and then you could look to see if it was turned on right there, okay? So that's how you get started to open up and use Read and Write if you don't know how to do that.